this film is about love. I would define this film as a paradox. It's about intimacy and inspiration in the relationship between the two of them. Sort of a painting. It's, I'll probably cheat and not say sort of an eccentric painting. The story to me was basically about a couple, Joel and Sophia, that are very much in love. But Joel is going through something that Sophia doesn't really understand and she's not really aware of until he initially starts pushing her away. And I think the story um, revolves around what they go through as a couple and how they develop as individuals. And um, also how Joel realizes uh, what Sophia is in his life and what Sophia realizes what Joel is in her life. People are always looking to experience something that they can't experience in their everyday lives or something that makes them look at the world differently. So it's either a really interesting concept or characters that allow you to experience something like new and unique. She's wondering what to wear, light dress and tied up. It's all right, not bad. Really? Yeah, no, I mean, we've got there's some flaring going on. <laughs> People are flaring at each other. But how do you feel so far about the stuff we've shot? Very happy. Uh, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Other people think so. They don't think I'm weird. <laughs> I think it's amazing. But, um, it's amazing. I love them. I love them. I'm just uh, preparing myself. This kind of hectic scene coming up, so I want to make it look as realistic as possible. So it's like having a cigarette, being able to view. Yeah. What happens in the scene? Well, a lot happens actually. Um, firstly, I walk in on uh, my girlfriend doing um, funny things, just wearing my clothes, and she's trying to introduce herself as me. It's, it's very cute, it's just very strange. So. Um, yeah, in a way I find it very essential, so we start uh, doing uh, what adults generally do. And um, yeah, I end up uh, taking my clothes off and putting on women's clothes. Yeah. So now you understand why I'm having a cigarette again. <laughs> setting up for scene where Sophia moves in with Joel, but she doesn't announce herself, she just arrives with her stuff mm. and watch her, him react to it. To establish how her character has no boundaries and his is all about her. Bribed your way in. Most resourceful. But you could have told me To definitely delve into something like that, I had to sort of think of previous arguments I've had, and I mean it's nothing. It's nothing pretty. It's nothing nice. But you've you've always got to make it. You've always got to make it real. You know? So um, 
sort of arguing with Jamie Lee as, as an actress, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not easy, but um, I think after rehearsal, after rehearsal, sort of understanding the subtext, understanding what the purpose of the scene was, and it just, I think from there we just flowed. It was, I mean, there were certain scenes that we shot on the day that, I mean, we had people sort of stepping back going, oh my God, like, I can't believe that just happened. You know? What do you think this is? What do you think I do? Are you done? No, I'm not done! I sort of reached something in myself that I never really thought I would. And when you see Sophia breaking down because Joel is so nonchalant about what's going on in their relationship, Sophia reaches a point where the audience sees her as a sunflower throughout the whole film. And they actually see this flower wilting. And not only I felt that, but I think the audience can see what, what, what she's actually going through and I think that makes it quite intense for the audience to watch it. Well, I mean, I think Joel and Sophia have almost a friendship. They kind of have a vulnerability that's, that goes beyond, sexual, beyond sex, really. And I think that Maya and her lover were basically just like a carnal representation of love. And that I think men sometimes do desire just wanting something that um, excites them and doesn't actually make them think and challenge them emotionally. be shot without me, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, our locations completely were within the narrative and we chose them wisely. If you feel the need for company, I can take the pictures of your favorite sights in the star you've got. Biggest challenge. Um, <laughs> keeping my temper, <laughs> staying cool-headed when everyone's losing theirs, or I don't know what to say. With with Joburg, the lights, the the city of the city of gold. So obviously you're gonna be expecting something that's just gonna be beautiful and just bright and colourful. Regardless of what the story was in the beginning, you're still trying to retell it again, just so that it makes sense within that 10 minutes. Well, sometimes you, sometimes there's a crazy Nancy. side. Get off my dick, bitch! <laughs> all of us on set, why would you be shy around us? You had a wonderful Yeah, I was with all you guys, but I'm, I'm shy. You guys have no idea I'm shy. <laughs> I'm extremely sad. The tune you got some trouble in do If you feel the need for company I can take the pictures of your favorite side It's it's about unattainable love. Yeah. To sound you long, your luminous charm hanging on to my own. 